The Muda Koroiwai is only found in limited regions of Okinawa. At just two centimeters, it is an extremely small and unusual cicada whose body is bright green. After sunset between May and July, they start singing at around 7.15 p.m. every day, stopping precisely 30 minutes later. This simultaneous singing behavior is thought to attract partners for mating so as to leave offspring. However, why and how they measure time as accurately as a clock is still a complete mystery. The majority of organisms have what we call a biological clock that governs sleep and other activities. Most of these set their clock with the rising of the sun. Temperature is directly related to plant blossoming, and there are some creatures that adjust their biological clock according to the rhythm of the tides. However, Biological clocks are not very accurate when compared to their mechanical counterparts. You could even say that the existence of these slight discrepancies has allowed adaptation to a diverse range of environments. The large brown cicada, black cicada, and other large cicadas sing right throughout the day. In comparison, many cicadas sing simultaneously at dawn or dusk, as if to compete with each other. What we can infer from this is that the cycle of sunrise and sunset is likely the most popular biological clock amongst cicadas. The Muda Kuroiwai is not only restricted to singing at dusk, but actually starts singing sporadically after about 3.30 p.m. But why is it that their simultaneous singing always starts right around 7.15 p.m. and doesn't follow the gradually changing time of the sunset? And where is the sensor for measuring this time? We still have no way of answering these questions. The Muda Koroiwai, which lives in the broadleaf forests of limestone regions, is small and inhabits only a few areas, making it hard to find. For this reason, almost no observational records exist, and it is pointed out that they may become extinct due to habitat limitations caused by development. What kind of sensors does this cicada, which is only found inhabiting Okinawa, use to analyze its natural environment? The responsibility falls to us to pass this natural wonder on to the next generation and make sure it doesn't become a mystery that will never be solved. Humans do not have such refined sensors with which to measure the natural world. However, humankind possesses the power of analysis, one that goes beyond our natural limitations. The protection of this diverse and beautiful Earth through the analysis of nature is a mission that has been entrusted to humankind.